electric field in different frame we consider the electric field here the uniform field is in the region between the plate capacitor so say the capacitor is at the rest so s and in the carrier surface charge density is plus minus as shown in the figure and uh, in the second figure in the frame of reference is moving toward this direction and the plates are moving with velocity towards this direction with v0 now we know that the e is equal to the sigma is the surface charge density upon epsilon naught in the direction of y axis electric field because the positive from it it is from the positive charge to negative charge electric field is this now we tilt the positions of the plate now by tilting the positions now these plates has been tilted toward these directions we see that then the direction of the electric field will change that is the perpendicular directions to the motion since the total charge is invariant so the bed and w is unchanged but the length is contacted by the factor 1 upon gamma 0 bit gamma naught is the one under root of one minus v naught the square upon c the square charge per unit area is increased by the factor gamma naught so sigma is equal to gamma naught into sigma naught so this implies that e perpendicular is equal to gamma naught into e naught perpendicular that is field line thicker as as uh, we uh, uh, as as uh, uh, this is sigma such shrink so e perpendicular means the upper figure field is to perpendicular direction of the motion now what in the lower figure that is along the uh, which we have left on the that side the plate separated by the distance and uh, contracted whereas the length and w remain constant and hence the sigma remains same therefore e parallel will remain same so conclusion what we get is perpendicular direction it is gamma time multiplied with e0 where gamma is equal to under 1 over 1 minus v square upon c square where gamma is equal to under root of 1 minus v square upon c square so what these are not the general transformations law because we begin with the system so the charge is at rest and hence no magnetic field was conserved for this purpose we take another frame of reference moving with velocity b bar here we have the three frame of reference s0 s and s bar s s is moving with velocity b not and uh, s bar is moving with velocity b bar with respect to frame of reference s now we, from the right hand rule it is found that the magnetic field direction is negative and is along z direction so what we get is minus mu naught into y then we have the i the value is equal to sigma into v naught so we have got the magnetic field v is equal to the minus mu naught sigma v naught then the third system s bar is traveling s bar is traveling to the right with the velocity v to the s therefore field would be e bar by is equal to sigma upon epsilon naught and bz bar is equal to minus mu naught sigma bar into v bar here b bar is the velocity of s bar bare relative to s0 so v bar is equal to the law by the laws of the velocity additions we have calculated it and then v bar is gamma bar is given by this relations here is the gamma bar and uh, hence we get the sigma bar is equal to gamma bar into sigma think the value of e bar we calculated uh, by steps and bz is also calculated it is found that the gamma bar upon gamma zero upon solving this we get uh, <clears throat> the value of the gamma upon gamma bar again put into this relations e bar gamma into gamma bars and gamma bar into gamma bar in both these relations so putting the values of these two what we get is we get e 
y is equal to gamma into e by minus b z whereas b z is equal to gamma into b z minus mu naught epsilon naught b into e by here we have since here mu naught upon uh, uh, epsilon naught is equal to 1 upon c squares so what we get is mu naught upon c square uh, putting the value of the mu naught upon c square so what we get is e z is equal to this here mu naught into epsilon naught is equal to c square uh, uh, c square and hence we have put this value here as 1 upon c square so what we get is we get e bar is equal to e x along the e x axis it is e bar is equal to x axis <clears throat> so for the magnetic field we know that b is equal to n i n is the number of turns and i is the current now the length is contracted and hence n bar get gamma into n whereas i contains q upon time that is the time dilations so q upon times and hence i is increased that is 1 upon gamma times into i so when both this n into i is done gamma into gamma cancels hence bx bar is equal to bx so conclusion what we get is ex bar is equal to ex e by is equal to gamma into e by minus bz ez is equal to gamma is equal to ez plus b b by <coughs> and uh, bx is equal to again bx b by is here gamma into b by plus b upon c square into z and b bar z is equal to gamma into b z minus b upon c square into e by these are known as the electric field and magnetic field transformations thank you